Oh, that's an angry heart kernel robot. So, <laughs> hello. So, who are you? Hi. I'm Bo. I'm from Ameridroid, Heart Kernel's North American distributor. And uh, you you distribute these heart, Odroid, uh, these heart kernel uh, development boards, right? Right. What is this one? This is the Odroid XU4. It's an octa-core, big little uh, Amlogic, or sorry, uh, Samsung processor. So this is the Samsung octa-core 32-bit right. uh, Quad A15, Quad A7 with USB 3. Right, USB 3 and gigabit Ethernet and a USB 2.0 port there as well. Um, All right. A boot selector switch for going between EMMC and micro SD. Nice. So uh, this is uh, high performance Big Little. Is it in here? No, these are running C1s. So this is a C1. This is a C1 Plus. This one was just released as well. And uh, so this is Amlogic? Right. Normally this comes with the heatsink installed, but we removed it so you can see the chip and the memory. So it's a S805 quad-core ARM Cortex-A9, right? Yes, I believe so. And with HDMI, all this stuff. HDMI. Uh, what kind of prices do you have on these boards? So the uh, this one is about $37, and this one is about $75. All right. So the this, $75 one includes power supply. This one, power supply, you can it use is, the standard one? or Right. This can use uh, a micro USB, like uh, your smartphone or 2.5 millimeter barrel connector, five you, volts, two amps. You need two amps, micro USB, and it powers it, right? Right, well that's so you can uh, handle uh, a number of unpowered USB uh, devices. So what are we looking at here? What are these robots? And you're connecting to, what is this? So here we have a, a Bocor micro router that's running a Raylink uh, system on a chip. So basically this is a single board computer as well. But uh, we're just using it right now for Wi-Fi. And uh, both this Linux laptop and those three robots are all connected to that Wi-Fi access point. And this is just a, a web interface we can use to control it. And you, you push a code into there and then it sends it over to yeah, the robot? You just um, uh, push one of the buttons. And um, let's see, if you look at the yellow robot, I'm going to push this button that says uh, banana, OK? OK, banana. Whoa, what is it, a banana move? Yeah, what is that? A, Can you do it again? He's excited about bananas. Cool. And yeah. there's some other stuff. OK, so here's a hokey pokey. That's awesome. And uh, let's do a turn left. Nice. This is awesome. So uh, what components are we looking at here? Okay, so on the robot is the Odroid C1. Of course, the C1 Plus will work as well. We have the uh, UPS2 from Hard Kernel. What is that? It's uh, basically an uninterruptible power source. It's a battery. With a 3000 milliamp LiPo battery. We have, that's connected to the Odroid C1 through this barrel connector. And then we have a Wi-Fi antenna that comes from Odroid as well. And uh, this is a, a stack that uh, includes the USB audio adapter, plus an amplifier, plus a speaker. And then on the uh, sandwich between the screen and the C1 is a Chroma C1 servo board that does eight channels. And then on the front of that, we have a SPI touchscreen display. That this is 4.3 inch or something? Uh, 3.2. 3.2. Yes, and that's a touch screen as you can see the mouse pointer follows my finger. Nice. So you can so what is the target? Is uh, kids? Um, kids, anybody who's interested in robotics, uh, anybody who wants to work on developing uh, a desktop bot. Let's try and make some other moves that okay. you can show. So let's uh, let's do Rosie, that's the, the purple one over there. So it's just uh, three tabs in the browser. Yeah, one for each robot. So I can control any one of them. So I'm gonna disconnect. Sometimes this yeah. throws the balance off if I have them connected. So we'll disconnect that. How long is battery life? Um, about one to two hours.
So is that another fruit or? Is that like an apple or? No, no, no. it's just called walk forward. Okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna try a move that, that is uh, difficult sometimes. It's uh, it's kind of a, a move that it does when it wants to be uh, intimidating. Okay. Uh, yeah, so yeah. Sometimes the balance isn't quite right. It doesn't make it. But that's okay because they they can handle falling. Nice. Is this some kind of accelerometer and stuff? It does not yet have an accelerometer, but that's a module we'll probably be adding on in the future. Cool. So, uh, is it available? How soon? We're hoping to have it released here in the, uh, before the end of November for the Christmas shopping season. So, this is uh, how much? The it's whole a, bundle? It's a kit. Um, it's going to be between um, $150 and $200, including the, the, uh, the plastic parts to assemble it and the software. Rechangeable, uh, like uh, extra parts, just in case. Or is right now it's pr 3D printed, or yeah, it's 3D printed. But you'll have mass production on these parts. We're not sure yet on the first batch, so right. we'll have to wait and see. Otherwise, you have to run the 3D printers for. <laughs> yeah, we might have to send those time. to a fulfillment house. <laughs> All right, and let's look at some of the other stuff okay. here. Are you showing the booth? So what are you showing? All right, so this right here is a uh, LCD display that is going to be released here shortly. It's a seven-inch touchscreen. And this has an Odroid C1 Plus hooked on the back. So you can use this to make a development tablet. How about these boards? Are they, uh, they are they 96 boards? They're not, no, they're not 96 boards. They're a little bit too big or what's the, uh, uh, but it's nearly well, that. LaMaker, who makes the Banana Pro, yeah. makes also some 96 boards like, uh, I'm trying to remember the name of them right now. Uh, the guitar or uh, something? Piano, I think. Piano, yeah. Piano. Uh, yeah. The guitar is um, actually a Meridroid who distributes the Hard Kernel products, also distributes LaMaker products. All right. And, uh, Since when do you do that kind of uh, distribution? Uh, a little over a year. A year? Yeah. All right. So uh, this community of developers using development boards is uh, exploding, no? Yeah. Lots of people yeah. want to develop an ARM part boards. Right. But the, the trick is to bring them to market uh, inexpensively and also uh, with a lot of performance and a lot of community support. Support is important, right? right. People want it to do all kinds of awesome stuff. Right. So right here, it's a, this is a touchscreen module? Yeah, so touchscreen, it does you know, obviously uh, zoom, pinch zoom. Um, so there's a the mirror we're talking about there. Yeah. And this screen is going to be somewhere around $55. Nice. Plus 37 or so for the uh, Odroid C1, and you, you already have a pretty nice tablet. Better than most $100 tablets you can You can connect the power, uh, you can connect a, a, a battery? battery? Yeah, this one over here is the 8 inch screen with a case. This will be available in December. As you can see, it has batteries in it already. And uh, the Odroid C1 here with accessible ports which is hard to find on a tablet. All right. Uh, you can't get a tablet with Ethernet or full-size USB ports on it. Nice. So actually, uh, people can take uh, Odroid and do advanced stuff, right? Right, yeah. People use them for rocket control. Rocket? And, yeah, dr uh, flying drones, All right. robots. Hello. Hey, so what is this? This is the same as the 8-inch tablet we saw over there. Um, again, running, a, what is this, uh, running Linux? A, Ubuntu. Uh, Ubuntu? Yeah, your name A there is 3.10.08. Alright. So people use it for Ubuntu. What is this? All right, this is uh, these right here are called the cloud shell. The cloud shell is the case with the screen, the uh, yeah. controller board, and uh, a SATA controller for a hard drive like this. Nice. And of course, again, you have your HDMI and other ports accessible. And uh, the the SATA drive is controlled through the USB 3.0 connection here. But this board, it's showing uh, display information about uh, the status of the, the system. So these are really nice, small, self-contained server systems. It's like a NAS, right? Right. This could be used as a NAS, a file server. Um, a web server or multiple. Uh, nice. Is this uh, available? 
Yes, Who's these making are, this? These are available. These are from Hard Kernel as well. So what's what's the price for one of these? The cloud shell is around thirty nine dollars. For the whole little shell. So that's that's the uh, the controller board, the shell. Not the display. Yeah, it includes the display. Oh yeah. But it does not include the XE4 or the hard drive. All right. So you just add any hard drive or SSD. Right. And then you cloud connect it. Yes. And you run any of the hard kernel boards or only some specific one? Well, this one is designed for the XU4. So that's the Samsung powered, right? Right. And one of these, yeah, this one's running Diet Pi and uh, this one's running a different distribution. But there's a lot of distributions for cloud connected storage. What is that Diet Pi you say? What is that? Yes, Diet Pi is an operating system that is uh, optimized to be lightweight and to be used as network attached storage or cloud storage or uh, nice. to give you access to your files from anywhere. So it's not only for Raspberry Pi, it's not for any for board? Pi, right. Diet Pi originally came out for Raspberry Pi, but they ported it to other boards as well. Nice. What is going on here? Okay, here we have a self-contained weather station. So if you just look at that, <laughs> yeah. we have the uh, Odroid Show 2, which is about $26. Uh, the uh, Weather Board 2, this has seven environmental sensors on it. This little board there? Yes, this little tiny board here. What, what is less than $20. What's on it? Um, it has an SI-1132 chip and a BME-280 chip. And those are the seven different uh, sensors that it, it does. UV index, visible light, infrared, temperature, pressure, humidity, and altitude. And then we have a little 750 milliamp battery connected awesome. to run the board. So this runs all by itself. This is uh, standalone. How long does it run on the battery? Uh, a long time. I'm not sure exactly. But you can also power up the display? Uh, the display, this is actually just uh, sending telemetry back to an, another Odroid C1 connected to a 7-inch touchscreen display. So you can see historical weather information. Nice. But uh, yeah, you could run this off solar or whatever. So at the uh, hard kernel Odroid, a lot of stuff's happening right now. And what are we looking at here? Okay, this is uh, a combination product between hard kernel and with robot. With robot is a who's with robot? Uh, they're a company that makes accessories for single board computers. So what this is here is a three channel uh, camera board. So three cameras connect to it. One USB 3.0 connection going to an Odroid XU4. So this is used to uh, to do things like read barcodes off of boxes in commercial environments. Let's say a uh, box is going down a conveyor belt and you don't know which side the barcode's going to be on. You can mount three cameras and get like the top, bottom, and the side, or top and two sides. Nice. Uh, this is to be something that FedEx uses to scan boxes that are going down. So this is, uh, is not just for testing, it's not just for demonstration, it could potentially be... Well, I believe this is actually in use. It's in use. Yeah, in, in uh, commercial environments. Right, that's the goal, right? You want people to actually make right. real stuff right. out of all this, all, all this right? And well, then over here we have uh, a camera developed for robotic vision, 5 megapixel, uh, interchangeable lenses, it's got the M12 uh, lens format, so you can change to different focal lengths or... or uh, what is that kind of vision? Is that like a special Open robot CV. vision? OpenCV is what's running on, on the screen right now. OpenCV? Yeah. So what can it measure distance? What can uh, it do? It does facial recognition. It, it does... Um, yeah, a number of different things. There's quite a bit you can do with OpenCV. All right, so... Uh, you're busy, right? There's lots yeah. of stuff coming out. There's always stuff coming out with Art Kernel. And people can just buy it and they participate in the community in English speaking and right. other languages? Yes, or? yes. Uh, the, the, the official forum is in English and it is at forum.odroid.com. Uh, you can go to odroid.com for, and Odroid is spelled O D R O I D. Uh, you can go there for uh, software releases, product uh, information, a wiki, uh, community forums, um, and then uh, also the distributor pages. I'm with Ameridroid.com, which is the North American distributor for Hard Kernel. All right, and uh, I guess uh, Hard Kernel is very busy making the next ones too. Yes, future they're, they're, 64-bit <laughs> stuff. They're constantly, uh, yeah. I Anything would, announced or nothing yet? No. All right, but it's probably going to come. More performance, more different stuff. The yeah, the 
if you look back, historically speaking, Odroid's constantly coming out with new boards and they're always pushing the limits of price and performance.